Hello, Beechwood families, and welcome to the new school year. This is Ms. Gason, principal at Beechwood, with a message to our incoming families. We know school isn't starting the way we had hoped, but it is really important that we come into this school year as prepared as possible. The staff and I are excited to get the new year started. This video is going to provide some information, update, and tips to make the 2021 school year an amazing time for our kids. I know you have received information from the district and school about what the lear learning model will look like, but I wanna take an opportunity to explain the basics a little further. All classrooms will be divided into two groups by last name. Students with last names A through L will participate in live instruction in the morning from 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m., then take a lunch break, and then participate in independent learning until 3 p.m. Students with last names M through Z will do the opposite. These students will participate in independent learning first, take a lunch break, and then work with the teacher in live instruction in the afternoon from 12.30 to 3. Each group will receive live instruction with the teacher, and each group will have an opportunity to opportunity to practice skills independently. The independent practice is important because it will connect and prepare for the next live instruction time with the teacher. We will still operate under normal school day hours. School begins at 8.30 and ends at 3 p.m. each day. Daily attendance will be taken just like in a regular school setting. It's critical that our students are attending. We know there are many obstacles that families are working through right now so we ask that you continue to communicate with us. We, are, we wanna work with you and do everything possible to ensure that kids are in class each day. We will still have late start Wednesdays to allow teachers to collaborate on those days. On those Wednesdays, school, school will begin one hour later at 9.30, but will still end at 3 p.m. Our first late start is Wednesday, September 23rd. We are really excited to share that all students will receive individual devices for the school year. Kindergarten and first graders will receive touch screen tablets and second grade through fifth grade will receive laptops. We know there were hiccups with the devices last spring, but our technology department worked hard all summer to clean the device systems and re-image them to ensure they are working at their full capacity. And we are confident that this will help tremendously this fall. Our pickup location for the devices is our covered play area near the playground. Be sure to bring your ID, and if you still have a district laptop from last year, bring that one in so we can trade it in for the new one. And our day is Friday, August 28th. Please follow the schedule by grade level as to what time you should come. It would also be good for you to bring a backpack or some type of bag as you will get the device, a charger, There'll be some paperwork and anything your teacher has left out for distribution. I want to take this opportunity to share a few tips and tricks for virtual learning at home. Just like last spring, students will be using the program Microsoft Teams to connect with their teachers and classmates for live instruction. This program is downloaded on all district devices and students will be able to log in using their student ID and password. We suggest that students begin logging into the program slightly before their session actually begins, just to make sure there aren't any hiccups. The more and more they log in, the easier it will become for them. Along that same mindset, we know that students thrive with structure and routines. It is one of the reasons we see success in schools. We know this is tricky at home, but we suggest making it as much like a normal school day as possible. Wake up at the same time, eat breakfast at the same time, brush your teeth, get dressed on the same schedule, just like you would do if you were going to norm regular school. We also suggest finding a quiet, separate space in your home that will become their school place. Whether that's in a corner of a room or the dining or coffee table, identifying a specific space for learning is critical when creating routines. As best as possible, we ask that you support your child's learning by reducing distractions. That may be the TV, the phone, or younger siblings. Again, we know this is not the perfect situation and there will inevitably be interruptions, but planning ahead is our best chance for success. 
if at all possible, we also encourage some brain breaks and chances to stand up and get some fresh air when appropriate. It can also be helpful to post the school schedule in a place where everyone can see it in your home. Referring to the, to the schedule with younger siblings may help them to understand why they can't play with their older school days, school age siblings right now because they are in school and then show them on the schedule when they will be able to do so. And mostly important, the best key for success is communication with teachers. Like I said, we know there will be problems and concerns that, that arise, but don't leave us in the dark. Teachers are your first point of communication, and as always, the office will remain available for phone calls as well. Speaking of communication, as we enter virtual learning, it will be critical that you all have an email address on file with us. I can't stress enough the importance of email. It is critical that we have your updated address because teachers and myself use virtual communication regularly. Now that your child will be given a device, if you don't already have an email, it's a perfect time to set yourself up a free account. I use School Messenger quite a bit to send messages to the entire school. This is also linked to your email in Skyward. So again, it's critical that we have an up-to-date email for you. Skyward is the information system we manage, we use to manage student and family information. And it's also how we track attendance and manage grades. We highly suggest that you access this from the parent end as well. There are two websites where you can reach out to find information as well, our Beechwood website and the Clover Park School District website. Both have very valuable information. And some helpful numbers to add to your phone are the Beechwood main office line, the attendance line, and of course the technology helpline should you be having issues with your device. So what's next? The district is creating two virtual kindergarten orientation sessions for families of incoming kindergartners. The English session is Wednesday, August 26th at 6 p.m. and the Spanish session is Thursday, August 27th at 6 p.m. A Zoom link will be provided for those families to attend. Also specific to kindergarten, we will hold virtual family connection conferences between Wednesday, September 2nd through Friday, September 5th. This will be an opportunity to meet your child's new teacher and talk through specifics related to kindergarten. These will be roughly 20 minute virtual conferences. Incoming kindergarten families will be receiving a call from their teacher to schedule these soon. You will be able to pick up your schedule and find out who your teacher is on the Technology Distribution Day, August 28th. Most importantly is our first day of school. For grades one through five, the first day is Wednesday, September 2nd. Kindergartners will start later, allowing for those family connection conference days on Tuesday, September 8th. Thank you so much for spending the past few minutes listening to some important information regarding the start of the school year. We know it will require new learning for students, families, and staff as well, but we are so excited for the potential of this growth. We look forward to building new school skills and relationships this year, and as Superintendent Banner always says, we know we are going to persevere, we know we are going to grow, and above all, above all else, we are better together. And together, we will make it a great year.